All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well a Leo Rising. Weekly general tarot reading May 25th to uh, May 31st, 2020. And in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So without further ado, let's move to the general uh, weekly reading of Leo. And the first card that we do have for you guys that represents the very topic of the week or what the week is going to be like. Uh, that will be the Seven of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. That will be the Two of Cups. That's very strange. Oh, God. Okay, so uh, next one it is going to be the... Um, wow, the challenges of the um, High Priestess, followed by the gifts and the blessings here of the Hierophant. I mean, that's um, unnecessary resistance that you do, uh, but we are going to have a look at it more closely when I'm done with displaying the cards. Uh, moving next, it is the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the temperance. And the final one here, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering, that will be the uh, King of Swords. So those uh, those six cards, and uh, like I said, it's quite of an unnecessary resistance. So what we do have is the energies uh, of the Two of Cups and the Seven of Wands, which is the topic or the situation itself. So pretty much what that pre points, they do not refer to a specific individual. Okay, uh, the one that tries to make a contact with you, or rather, like those energies are gonna make those around you or specific individuals um, in a nominative um, sense um, more prone to seek a contact with you or to get closer to you, if you will. Especially those who are shy or those who thought that they don't have what it takes to make a cooperation, whatever type of a cooperation, either uh, a business cooperation or either a love cooperation as well. Up until now, they, they're going to have, uh, at that week, they, these people are going to kind of like gather up their courage, if you will, or leave their pride on the shelf and will simply going to ask you for uh, for your cooperation or will try to make a point that they want to cooperate with you and uh, that leads to the situation itself which is a seven of wands it is because uh, they have waited so much time to you at least is gonna look like that that is some sort of a, a joke or that is some sort of a, a a trap if you will that it is placed for you to to pretty much fall into Seven of Wands here points that throughout this uh, throughout this week, uh, you are be very um, defensive in, in in term of your uh, of your domain of your life. Say you know that somebody shows interest in in romance or romantic interest towards you. The Seven of Wands here as a situation points that you are not going to allow that person to step into your life very easily, but instead. Uh, it will be where you are going to put this person under a series of tests. And if that person, person endures those tests, then you may consider letting them in uh, your life. Same thing goes in regards to a business. Um, so the situation is where you are resisting uh, outworthy uh, influence or outworthy temptation. And also it's a test, inworthy test of yourself temptation test as well or you are going to take it as a temptation test now this could be provoked from a poignant experience of the past say you know that uh, if that's a business uh, business offer here that comes to you and you have you had similar business offer back in the days you jump into it way too prematurely things went badly or things went sour and now you pretty much are very um, apprehensive of taking similar business offer uh, now um, it's something that you got to take though. Uh, that's uh, what displayed in the cards. And here it is the challenges that you will need to overcome. And that is the challenge of the High Priestess. So uh, challenging wise, the High Priestess will make you really... <laughs> it's like... Uh, 
making you really fight with yourself, if you will, to identify is this thing that is approaching you or is this person that is approaching you genuine or not and can really the cooperation in between you two uh, become more profound in a sense of that from a pure interest or a romantic interest to be able to connect emotionally from a pure business interest to be able to connect materially and etc etc so the high priestess here challenges you to open your soul for the person that tries to make contact because two of cups when two of cups plays uh, plays a role especially energy wise um everybody who wants to try to uh, approach you with that kind of an energy has a pure and sincere intentions at least at that particular point and for one or another reason it was just a, a bad coincidence or a, a bad flow of events that you have been left hurt back in the days more very recently and unfortunately this person who has a, a genuine uh, intentions has to pretty much pay the price that somebody else hurt you back in the days or somebody else um, screwed you around uh, back in the days recent days that is so the high priestess here urges you to really take your time and be highly objective about uh, about the situation in terms of the do not compare the, the this situation with the situation from the uh, from the recent past and above everything else listen to your inner voice and listen to your inner guidance which are different from an, an intuition all right and in this particular case your inner voice and your inner guidance is going to be uh, something like uh, while the situation is similar the inner voice and the inner guidance is going to tell you that it doesn't have to end the same way as with the previous one because people are different okay and just because somebody screwed you around or hurt you back in the days it doesn't mean that this one is going to do the same thing and uh, next one it is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy here throughout the week that is going to be the gift and the blessing of the hierophant so uh hierophant pretty much points that um Well, the first gift that the Hierophant, oh my God, Hierophant gives you, it is uh, the gift of, um, I'm, I don't know how to say it in another way, but natural unfoldment in the sense of the things are going to go forward the way they are supposed to go forward if you allow the things to start unfolding. So they will unfold the way they are supposed to unfold should you decide that uh, you are going to give it a go okay again that is entirely up to your decision and you get to enjoy those blessings if you decide to give the man or the woman a chance and uh, what i mean under natural unfoldment i will try to give you a, an example with relationship unfoldment here so natural unfoldment is where everything goes by stages and no stage is skipped meaning that you start to you first you know show interest into one another then you do start talking then you do start hanging out then the romantic dinner happens then the dating happens you know and then the first kiss happens in etc etc and the hierophant goes even beyond you know the um, uh, what can be achieved throughout this particular week because whatever partnership is established with the hierophant it could go to its higher summits meaning you know business partnership could evolve into company um, romantic relationship could end up in a marriage and children okay so definitely you should explore the approach that somebody is going to take towards you this week and that could be more than just one person as well so you may struggle deciding which one you are going to go forward with uh next one it will be the uh, impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That is the impression of the temperance card. So um, a quite of a, uh, a person of solidarity. I don't know how to name it other way around and compassion as well. People are going to see you as a someone who even if you do not, um, if, even if you are not agreed, with the ways and the opinions of the other person that doesn't mean that you are not respecting them for the reason being it is that you people are going to see you as someone who is very uh, tolerant okay someone that always tries to find the the, the 
the, the, the middle ground in between two individuals, someone who is capable of a uh, huge compromise in order for things to move forward, if you allow them to move uh, to move forward. So in other words, peop while people see that you are different, they will also see that your differences and their differences can coexist together and that will be the reason why at this week they are going to make the approach that they so much have been resistant to make back in the days in the few weeks ago or in two months ago or etc etc and also people were going to see you quite so very attentive in a sense of that you are not you that you are an individual who is not afraid to afraid to undertake responsibilities chores and they are part of the partnership and the final card here that we do have for you, Leo, that is going to be the guidance that Tower is offering. Uh, that will be the King of Swords. So um, that card urges you to really take your time. And while you have to follow your inner voice and your inner guidance, which is going to tell you that what is happening right now, while similar with what happened in the past, doesn't have to end the same bad way. You still need to take your time to analyze the best possible way of taking advantage. It's not even taking advantage, but capitalizing on the situation because the way out of your um, state of suspiciousness and your state of disbelief and uh, I would say the belief into the doom and gloom can only be reached through a careful analysis of the current circumstances and when you place them against the previous circumstances that you do have a poignant test from you will see that they don't actually match and that will be your cue to uh, jump into it with very very effective actions so that being said, Leo, this was your weekly general tarot reading May 25th to uh, May 31st, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a private reading, you can uh, check out the description down below there. You're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.